So for the last two years in a row, we have had the exact same experience that's happening outside of our front door. And I wanted to share it because I believe God speaks through all things, sometimes animals, sometimes people, sometimes like a billboard. And I believe he's speaking through these birds that have built the most incredible nest on our front door wreath. And so I just thought it was really profound and I want to share it. So we have birds who have built this most incredible bird's nest that is on our wreath. And they also hatch the most gorgeous eggs. Well, since hatching, we now have baby birds. There's like six or seven of them. All I see are feathers everywhere. And what started out as a beautiful bird's nest, I mean, it was perfect and gorgeous little perfect eggs. And then featherless little birds has now turned into a disgusting, like bowl of poop. I mean, it's gross. And I remember this vividly last year too. And thinking like, mama bird, daddy bird, clean up this nest. This is so gross. What started out as literally the most gorgeous piece of art is now turned into this disgusting pile of poop. I kid you not. And I'm hearing, I can hear the mama come back to feed the babies because I hear the little high pitch beep, 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 and I can see her little beak down there and she's feeding them, but she's coming back less and less frequently. And I can see they're kind of moving around because they're getting more and more uncomfortable in this nest because they're growing. There's a lot of them and there's more and more poop. And so like, again, I want the mama bird and daddy bird to clean up this mess or build a bigger nest but they're saying, this is my interpretation, if I do that, they're going to stay forever. And that's not the goal. The goal for these birds is to fly so they can go out and live their best bird life. Not to stay in the nest and be comfortable. Which, that whole message is totally uncomfortable for me to think about as a parent. But that is the message that I believe that God is speaking to me through these birds for the last two years in a row. And so maybe that's a message for you too.